Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog here, and in today's CCNP Route Video Practice Exam, we're going to take a look at the good, the bad, and the redistributed, and I'm going to throw in a little bit of auto summarization into this one as well, because as we know, even those of us like myself who actually enjoy route summarization and redistribution, we've got rules, especially for redistribution, that we have to watch out for it with each protocol. You know, we have some concerns with RIP version 2. We've got, spe uh, excuse me, separate concerns with the IGRP, and of course OSPF is another animal entirely. So we're going to take a look at a few of those details in this particular video practice exam, and I'll also bring up a router and we'll take a look at some of these commands in action. So let's get started with this auto summarization question. When you're working with which of these protocols do you have to be concerned with auto summarization across classful network boundaries? Do we have to be concerned with that with RIP version 2, EIGRP, OSPF, or all of the above? And of course, as always, my practice exams are the dreaded choose all that apply. So we've got to watch out for that too. Now with OSPF, we've got several different ways of summarizing routes, a couple of different commands we can use. One of those commands is area range. Can we use area range on an ABR only, an ASBR only, both, or neither? because the router might tell us a little something about that, but uh, I doubt the exam does. We better know that down cold. And the same goes for the summary address command. Can we use the summary address command for summarization on an ABR, an ASBR, both or neither? And then finally, a bit of a classic here, you're redistributing routes into OSPF and you see this particular message, only classful networks will be redistributed. Generally, though, we're going to want all of our networks to be redistributed, and then we can filter them out, filter them out on an as-needed basis. But it's rare that we're only going to want our classful networks to be redistributed. What optional command with redistribute will allow classless networks to be redistributed? We'll take a look at that on the live equipment in just a moment. Let's take a look at this auto summarization question, though. You've got to watch out for auto summarization across classful network boundaries when it comes to RIP version 2 and EIGRP. It's not a concern with OSPF, but auto summarization, usually you're going to turn that off uh, because it tends to work against you. I love summarizing routes wherever I can in a network. It does help keep the tables, as I say, complete yet concise, but you and I as the network admins need to be the people deciding where auto, excuse me, where summarization should be taking place. Let's check these OSPF questions out about the area range command. I'm going to bring this up on the live equipment, so give me just a moment to bring that up. There we go. And a little, little something I want to show you about this one. Router OSPF. I'm going to use, actually, let's just use iOS help there. And you can see we've got the area option right at the top, OSPF area parameters. So we'll go with area. And if you type range in there, and then try to type in your summary, you're going to get unrecognized command. Technically, this should say area X range because what you've got to put here, of course, is your area number. So I'm going to put one right there just for fun. And then you'll see the range. And here's what I want to show you because I'm going to make a separate video for you NP route students uh, on this command shortly. But with the area range command, what you're doing, summarize routes, matching address, mask, and you'll notice it does say border routers only. So you're going to be working with this particular command on an area border router only. Now the second command that we looked at, summary address, that one you're going to be using on an autonomous systems border router only, an ASBR. So again, just to quickly review that area range, we're going to use that on an ABR, Summary address, we're going to use that on an ASBR. I'll show you both of those in action too in future videos, and of course that's on my Bulldog Boot Camp now as well. Now this one is a classic. You're putting routes into OSPF, you type in redistribute XXX, whatever you want to redistribute, and it says only classful networks will be redistributed. Technically that's not really an error message. Let's go back here and say we're going to redistribute EIGRP100. Well, You'll see a couple of options here, and then you'll see the CR for carriage return, which means this is a legal command. 
that if I hit enter there, I'm going to get that message we just mentioned, only classful networks will be redistributed. What you want to do here almost every single time is put the subnets option on at the end. That's why I was trying desperately not to say the word subnet in the question itself, because that's actually the answer. So what I would do in this case is take this redistribute command off with no redistribute EIGRP100, then I would put redistribute EIGRP100 subnets. Because if you don't manually remove this particular command, it's going to stay there and it could cause you a little bit of issue. So I would just go ahead and take that off and then just put redistribute EIGRP100 subnets and then you're going to be gold. Thanks for taking the CCNP route video practice exam. Hope to see you out in Twitter. We've got some great conversations going on out there as well as on Facebook and my YouTube channel where I always post these brand new videos first. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog.